Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading for November. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. I'm so sorry that this reading is later than you guys, you know, normally get your reading. Um, it's just Mercury, this Mercury retrograde. I've been delay on delay and I have just not been able to do these uh, readings. So I'm sorry for that, my apologies. But I think everything comes in divine timing. And in two days we have your beautiful full moon. All right already here <laughs> we're channeling your moon energy right now i think that um things you've tr tried to start and i feel that 2019 for a lot of you also was a lot about releasing things and really starting fresh and starting new in one or multiple aspects of your life i feel in this month of november you will get that you know sort of speed up process and i think it has a lot to do with your new with the, sorry with the full moon in your sign you will start to see things very transparent very clear and you start to notice that um, there's no other option than that pathway that is aligned for you so i think you come in and alignment more and more of like which new direction you kind of want to take also when it comes to relationships and you have the beautiful card cycles and rhythms honor the cycles and rhythms of your body energy levels and your emotions so emotions and just overall the energy can be pretty intense i'm not gonna like you know make it all cute and fluffy <laughs> it can really take you on an internal journey which i think is very powerful and beautiful so you could feel a little more tired or a little or you might even feel very energetic or um you know a lot of dreams a lot of insight just a lot of downloads things like that just a lot of uh secret sync no resty so a lot of you know seeing a lot of signs coming through and feeling connected to that so everything is heightened right now but you have to honor your own body and honor your energy levels right now just go with the flow don't force things to happen just go with the flow and follow your intuition when it comes to that that's just overall your um energy towards right now is things come true because of the fact that it's this intense it it just is important for you to just honor yourself just allow yourself to take a rest allow yourself to take a break or allow yourself to start something if you feel guided to do it just go with that flow don't be mad with yourself if you can't finish something around this time it's just you know just go just go with it the softer you are with yourself the more you actually will get done this time all right Taurus let's get started on your tarot what you guys got for Taurus for the month of November what's coming through for Taurus for the month of November beautiful you see that's you guys coming through as the king of pentacles feeling at home feeling connected to your home feeling connected to where you're going and if that's not the case and it's something that's going to come towards you start to feel much more secure and connected to the foundation you're building or you have built overall it's just you coming through very strongly very stable and you might feel like that's so not the case but it's coming all right open up for that energy the moon energy you know towards full moon but overall you could be dealing with a pisces or a cancer but what they showing me with this is that have no fear when it comes to your stability when it comes to your income because there are things coming to you that you just cannot see right now so be open for that don't completely um go with the anxiety go with the feelings of oh you have to get in control allow it to flow like i said trust into the unknown jump into the unknown because there's something hidden when it comes to your foundation that's coming towards you you just cannot see it coming right now Taurus. here we go beautiful you see i told you i told you now <laughs> the ace of cups something is going to feel really 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 good it's gonna make you feel overflowing 
like your cup is gonna overflow and then we have the hermit card so the virgo could be dealing with the virgo energy but overall i just feel like finding touching in within within yourself with your true happiness with your truth it's all about within yourself you're going to find it within yourself you're going to feel that overflowing cup again and i just feel that it's by because because one thing shifts it's just within you it just shifts and then something is coming in because of that but i just feel that you are starting to feel a lot better about your life in general yeah see the magician and the knight of pentacles that's it that's it Taurus. that's the way you should go and do that claim your personal power you start it's like i said it's almost like you see really clearly all of a sudden and you're like oh wait i need to go and do this oh wait i need to go and change that and that's the way you see things you're also changing the way you look at things you're starting to go back to the past and and really look at it from a different perspective and feel that you find some release in that and that's going to help you let the energy flow again but here we go knight of pentacles go slow go steady have patience with this new journey have patience with yourself but take your steps accordingly so just step by step and allow that process to happen like that because that's going to bring you great success see ace of wands that's your new beginning that's tapping into the source that's stepping into the energy feeling like excited feeling motivated again feeling like hey i got this or i want to do this i'm going to do that see and then opposite energy is the five of pentacles don't allow your new start to have delays because you're so overthinking about um the financial resources and all of that but overall let me see because why is the five pentacles here yeah it's a, the way you feel and think about it you start you hold yourself back because of the finances it's an energy the finances you need or the finances you want is an energy you see it's the way you look at it if you release it if you look at it from a different perspective if you let it flow in if you're trusting if you have faith you have hope you're not you know you're not going to focus on, on how stuck you are how this has been how this is going and how much you want that but it's unreachable it's just it's an energy it's like the way you look at it the way you see it you're releasing that you got to because you're not stuck you got many opportunities if you if you're deciding to look at things from a different perspective you're starting to see more doors opening and that's what i'm saying um during your full moon energy 12 13 of november just in a couple days and a couple days after that you start to see things from a different perspective and you really are reclaiming your energy when it comes to that all right let me see maybe there's somebody that has been leaving you out in the cold has been distant and it made you feel it really has got you in your field you know it really just you just don't know what to do with it here we have the high priestess she has your intuition this is the overthinking this is in the hat space and this is in your you know this is allowing yourself to tap into your higher truth to your soul's truth to your intuition to your higher self This could also mean you guys felt a little left out by me, you know, by the high priestess. You know, you guys wanted your reading, but you were like, where's my reading? <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's true, though. Could say that, okay? You like, guys are like, I don't know. Did we do something wrong? Why is our reading not here? <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? It's not the personal tourist. Here we go. The Knight of Swords and the Tree of Swords. If you start to tip into that to that depth, you know, into the energy, I really do feel that you guys are picking up on some hurt that was happened before. 
and it's stirring it up you know the, the the new moon in scorpio and then the sun in scorpio all of that energy is just the, uh, mercury being in retrograde in the sign of scorpio as well it's just taking you back and you're like wait what am i taking all these steps back what is happening to me what's happening you know and now for all of you because some of you have already healed but you some of you are really going to a cycle where you go back to it you know but you're releasing that energy it's here to heal it's not here to haunt you again you know and take you all the way back to where you were it's about hey can we now look at things from a different perspective Taurus you know if I if I, if I if I give you this insight again can we now look at it from a different way can we now take out the soul's lessons can we look at it from a higher perspective can we release the pain can we can we heal that's really you know a little bit what I'm hearing like it's, it's, your, it's like your soul's group is around you and it's like asking you like can we should we because there's a lot going on all right let me see i just feel somebody communicate something to you like said something really hurtful i don't know who that was but it was it's, it's just hurt you see three of cups with the page of pentacles oh sorry page of wands i don't know why i said that but the page of wands are starting new i think you're starting to come into alignment with people who are on similar journeys as you see the sun is here with the star it's just all in there's the page of pentacles <laughs> you see it's just about don't dim your light so don't dim to fit in to a group because it has been your friends for 20 years or it has been your family or that you know since you were born or don't try to fit in and try to stand str strongly firmly believe in what you believe in go where you want to go and have other people that are on similar journeys support you on this journey don't go and form yourself into something which you have known which other people expect you to be stand strongly in this allow it to just be you for a little bit other people will follow just by embodying it just by doing it you inspire people see here we go eight of cups and the nine of swords see you gotta let it go and I know it's heavy for some of you. It's hitting you like a slap in the face. It's like, you know, like that. I'm sorry to let it like, but it just hits you. And you're like, whoa, wait. You know, it's just overcoming of emotions all of a sudden. Where is it coming from? But it's it, it, it's depending on how much you still have left to heal, Taurus. But it's here to heal, not to hunt you, like I said. Let me see. Eight of Cups, walking away from this overthinking, from these nightmares. I do feel a lot of you have been dreaming pretty strongly. Seven of Wands with the Knight of Wands. Let me pick up this card. And the, there's you. There we go. You see? The Taurus, the Hierophant. Standing up for what you believe in, but not out of a place of hurt, but out of a place of trust, out of a place of love, out of a place of passion, devotion, purpose. Okay? Don't go on this new journey of like, I'll show them. I'll do better. Show, watch me, see me. You know, it's about, I've tried this road. I've tried to do things the way that they expected of me. I tried to be what they you know want me to be or i try to to work in similar environment as as they do and they seem pretty happy it just hasn't really worked out for me and now i'm not going to like I'll, you know the people that hurt me i'm gonna show them i'm gonna know it's about what is in alignment with your soul's truth are you finally ready to just step into your truth as you've walked that pathway and not out of place like I have to defend myself by position. I have to prove them wrong. No, it's about just being you. You're already good enough if you just be yourself. And that's going to bring in the stability and the happiness. And feeling just, you know, at home again. With where you're at in life. Feeling stable.
you see beautiful okay first this card because it wants to come out seven of cups looking going over your option going over which direction you want to take i do feel like a lot of opportunities are coming you at one time but here we go the fool the beautiful empress and then we have the ten of cups i mean mm. <laughs> so it is a journey and it is you know it is it's not easy i'm not gonna say like oh it looks you know no 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 it's not like that it's really some of you have really got hit by it and it was like whoa you know but you're releasing it you're going through it you're also understanding that you have to come from this new place this new energy but just following your your intuition not sharing it too much with others it's your new journey it's it's what you want to do then go out and do it because that's where the happiness is at this is when you're feeling free you're you're feeling free it's a new journey and if you're in a relationship i think that you're releasing things you start to communication from a different aspect and that's bringing back the happiness and stability to the home life definitely and they start to see you in your light again because you are the empress whether you're masculine or feminine doesn't matter it's like you are the empress in the end of the day But you have to claim your throne. You are the hierophant in the end of the day, Taurus. Wow. Beautiful, strong reading. I love this. This is really the full moon in Taurus for you. <laughs> Chains, okay? But for the better, we are uh, going into the new and we are expanding, okay? Beautiful. I'm going to... Um, lay three cards out for you guys so you can pick your own extra message for this um for this month let's see all right let's pick up this deck spirit message always like these cards for you guys three cards for Taurus, please three cards for Taurus. and three I'm going to ring the bell so you guys can take a deep breath in take a deep breath out roll your shoulders back relax and then choose your own card okay here we go Let's get started, Taurus, with the first card. Love. Hmm. Love is the foundation of your existence. And you're just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion, Taurus. While love can be beautiful emotion, it's equally a form of energy that propels you through life. So let love guide you. Vibrate on the frequency of love. Then you release that fear and that hurt and that overthinking. Beautiful. That anxious energy connected to love. So you're just as worthy of receiving love as you are of giving it to others. All right? Two. But also to yourself. You're just about, you know, as worthy as receiving love from yourself as you are to give it to others. Just wanted to say that one more time okay card number two strength strength comes from many sources staying strong brings confidence conviction and a balanced body mind and soul spirit has its own unique and beautiful way of replenishing your soul with strength on a continual basis you're never really alone as we are always with you so that's beautiful you're never really alone you have way more strength within you than you think. Card number three. <clears throat> throat chakra. For the people who choose say that, speak your truth. Alright? Because I almost got like <laughs> choked in that one. Okay. Card number three. Spirit has his own beautiful way of letting you know that it's time to study again. From time to time, it's important to go back and learn. Whether it's learning old things in a new way or learning something totally new. 
It's an, imp an opportunity to expand your mind. Beautiful. So this was your message for the month of November, Taurus. I hope that it was helpful for some of you. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if that's something that you haven't done yet because I'm going live again soon and I would love you to for you to get a notification when I am. Um, for the rest, just have a beautiful month of November. Enjoy your own full moon. Write down the things you want to release. Burn that motherfucker. <laughs> Burn that letter. <laughs> um, and just uh, allow the new energy to come and work for you and with you. All right, Taurus, you're gonna be fine. I promise. Just keep going, keep flowing with the energy and follow your intuition and your heart. That's the most important thing. All right, Taurus, I love you to the moon and beyond and I'll see you back soon. Bye.